Hey guys, I'm Silverwolf and we've got another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. This one should hopefully be the new downloadable content that you actually pay for. So the Happy Home Academy related stuff. Now, um, I didn't come on yesterday, I was way too busy. Yesterday was the 5th, I am uploading these videos a day at a time. But they are a little bit behind from what I've got uh, recorded. So today, as I'm filming this, is the 6th of November. But I didn't come on like I said yesterday, so I have no idea. Now, I think that the free content was released a day early, so it didn't get confusing. So anyway, here we've got Isabel. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Shernaron, it's 3.07. Yeah, yeah, we know. It's another lovely Saturday, and KK is performing in the plaza. Okay, she's just telling me about KK. Right, fair enough. Nothing new there. I'm not entirely sure how to get into this part of the uh, the update, actually. But when I came on my Switch today, it did say the DLC was now ready to be played. So, let's check the mail. Oh wait, no, my phone is ringing. No wonder I couldn't move. I thought my Joy-Con was broken. This must be it. So, it's Tom Nook on the phone. Hello, Silverwolf, this is Tom Nook. Are you busy? I have a visitor here that I'd love to introduce you to. Sorry to barge in on your day, but would you please come to the airport so you can meet her? Okay, fair enough. And I don't get a chance, uh, a choice in the matter. I have to literally go there. The game is making me go there. Okay, here we go. Tom Nook says, Ah, oh, Silverwolf, you're here. Lottie, allow me to introduce you to Silverwolf. That's Lottie, she's saying, Hi, hello, I'm Lottie. I used to work with Mr Nook a long time ago before this big island venture he started. Yes, yes says Tom. She is quite talented. Lottie can handle anything from interior design to building layouts. And now she runs her very own vacation home company. Lottie says, well, I did have a very good teacher. It's really coming along, though. He just got, was, sorry, we just got our new office, office set up. So we're finally ready to start taking orders for custom vacation homes. Right now we need another team member, a go-getter, with vision and insight into our clients' needs. When I told Mr Nook what I was looking for, he said he knew exactly who to ask. And here we are. So Tom says, in other words, she needs your help, Silver, obviously. He didn't say the obviously part, but you know. Oh, when she came to me, you were the first one I thought of. After all, you've done such a lovely job with your own home. Surely you could do the same for others. I'll leave it to you and Lottie, of course, but my instinct has rarely steered me wrong. Yes, yes. Lottie says, Mr Nook is quite a reference. If you want to join us, I won't say no. We're close by, so your commute would be a breeze, and I offer a competitive salary. What do you think? Are you interested? I'll do it, obviously. I'm not going to say no. Fantastic, that's wonderful. I'll need to get a few things ready before you join our team, so I'll go on ahead. I'll see you there. Okay, so Lottie's leaving now. Off she goes. So Tom says you certainly made her day. Hmm, this airport has a flight standing by for whenever you're ready to meet up with Lottie. Just tell the staff at the front desk I want to go to work. Well then, I'll leave you be. Take care, Silver. Okay, now I'm getting a job. So, let's go up to the desk. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's you, Silver. Who else would it be? President Nook told me you're working at Miss Lottie's place, Silverwolf. Exciting. Whenever you need to head over there, tell me I want to go to work. So, Silverwolf, you got anything to tell me? I want to go to work. Ah, so you're going to work. Roger that. I can set you up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff. Time for take off. All right, let's get you airborne. I think I actually have quite a lot in my pockets, but never mind. There we go. It's all the usual stuff. Have a good flight, blah de blah, here we go. And the animation is slightly different now. It's got like a pattern on the other side of it, which it didn't have before. Okay. By the biplane, Silver, is this your first time flying these particular skies? There's a bunch of little islands scattered out around out here, real pretty, tropical fruit for your eyes. Also the regular kind of tropical fruit. Yep, I could see a bird landing on one of those islands and deciding to just stay grounded for a while. Not me, though. Whoa, sorry there. Just realised you're heading into work, aren't you, Silverwolf? Well, um, in that case, just take a look at the monitor in front of your seat and take it easy while you can. 
before the work starts. Uh, so you've got kind of a monitor thing going on here, which is similar to like when you're actually traveling in, in an airplane. And it's going to strand me on an island. There's a tiny house. Oh no, it's just shown a house. I'm guessing this is a cutscene. I'm not sure as this will happen every time. It does look quite nice though. The nighttime scene's cool. It all looks so much better than my island. My island's really rubbish. Here we go, happy home paradise. I mean, I say my island's rubbish. I've had a lot of nice comments on it, and thank you guys. I just compare my own stuff to other people's stuff too much, and I feel that others do a better job, but there you go. It says, this is your captain, we're almost to our destination. Turn your seat to the upright position, blah, blah, blah. It's the usual thing when they're landing. Oh, it looks really nice. We'll be landing on the water, of course. I think I'll spend most of my time here and not on my actual island because this one looks better. But it's nice that they staggered the updates because I thought that perhaps they'd come out at the same time and I'd be rushed off my feet. So we've got Nico here. I think he's a lemur. Hi, welcome. You must be the newbie that Lottie was talking about, right? That's right. Well, I'm glad the island sent you to me. I'm Nico. I work with Lottie. Everyone is so ready for you. The office isn't far from this pier, so let's get going. And he's run away. And I'm running after him. This is the office. Go on in. Okay. We've got a manatee character here as well. So Lottie says, Ah, oh, welcome. I've been waiting for you, Silver Wolf. And welcome back to you too, Nico. Thanks for leading the way. I think Nico has already introduced himself, so I'll introduce you to everyone formally now. Everyone, this is Silver Wolf, the person in charge of our custom vacation homes. Glad you're here, Silver Wolf. And they're all clapping, yay. You'll help Silver Wolf out, won't you? Oh, I'd sure be grateful. Nico's going to help me. The islands around here are kind of like my backyard, you know. Yep, our Nico is the expert when it comes to all things local, says Lottie. He can take you straight to any island you need. And Nico says, oh, you're too kind. I'm also trying to learn more about sales and home construction, so ask me anything. And Lottie says, next up is Wardle. He's in charge of managing furniture, procurement and other related matters. We also sell furniture and souvenirs here in the office, so he's in charge of that part of the business as well. Staff can make purchases too, so check out the products later. You might find something interesting. Wardell, he seems quite shy, says hello. Lottie says, OK, that's the whole team. I just know the four of us are going to do great things together. Go team! Nico says, yeah, go team. Wardell just kind of smiles. Like I said, he's a bit shy. Lottie says, it's policy to wear a uniform when you're working. You'll find yours in the locker upstairs next to the mirror. You can use whatever you like in the staff room, including that mirror and the cabinet up there as well. All right, just call me when you're finished changing. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Oh, there's an old television there. I used to have one of those in my bedroom with a VCR attached to the bottom of it. I might buy that later. Um, alright. So this is my locker. Looks like my work uniform is in here. You can use the locker to make changes to your work outfits. Right, so I've got a Hawaiian shirt, shorts and some flip-flops. And I like denim cut-offs instead though. Hmm, yeah, that looks alright. Pineapple cap, straw boater. Um, an animal nose. I could be a duck. I could have a goatee. I think I'll have sunglasses though. 
Retro shades, pilot shades. Uh, what about these ones? Square glasses. Or what about, you know what, shutter shades? Oh, they call them ladder shades on here. I wore some when I was in America, and actually they are, um, they're kind, they're actually quite easy to see in. I'm not going to wear socks with sandals. I think, oh, should I have a backpack? Or a fanny pack, that would be quite useful, actually. Leather shoulder bag. I think I'll have a backpack. Uh, this mini one. Because although fanny packs are useful, they're also quite small, so you can't really carry much in it unless you have a massive one like I do at home. Um, it is quite big. I mean, in real life, not on the game. Okay. There's my outfit. I'm ready to go. Anything else I can see? There are nameplates for Lottie, Nico, and Wardell. Oh, that must be their lockers. What's over here? Not much. There's a hammock there. Ooh. Looks like you could fit a lot of stuff in this box. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that will be explained to me later. Let's go down and see what's happening. I thought the uniform would be quite boring, actually, but it's quite neat. You can pretty much dress in any sort of holiday outfit. But I have chosen a matching shirt like everyone else. Lottie says, ah, oh, you look so, ooh, ooh, you look so official, and the fit is just right, fantastic. Well, now that you're all decked out in the official garb, let me just say, welcome to Paradise Planning. Oh, did I forget to tell you about our name? We're Paradise Planning. It rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Our goal is to help our clients live out their dreams in vacation homes of their very own. So we have to get to know them on a personal level to deliver on that promise. I just know you'll be great at it, Silverwolf. Now I think it's best to learn on the job, so I'd like you to get started right away. I'm here to, t to help you as much as I can, but remember, I'm here. What I mean is, I can't leave the office. Oh, okay. She's being held prisoner in her own office. Not to worry, however, Nico will be joining you for your client con consults. And Nico says, you got it, Lottie. Don't worry about a thing. That'll be right. I'll be right with you the whole time. You can even call me boss. I mean, if you want. Boss. Lottie says, all right, now all we need to do is find some clients. Something tells me, oh, there's a client now. Welcome, says Lottie. It's Eloise. Well, isn't this a darling little office? I've heard this is the place to be when one is looking for a vacation home tailored to one's needs, yes? Indeed, says Lottie, we are taking orders. If you could join me over here. So we've got our first client. Actually, today just happens to be the first day we are taking orders for our vacation homes. Eloise says, well, what splendid timing. Now then, I've been a visitor here many times and this island always helps me feel relaxed. I suppose the atmosphere just suits me. Do you know what I mean? In any case, I think it would be quite marvellous to have my own little getaway. The thing is, I haven't the slightest idea about how to make such a thing happen. Toot! Lottie says, that's what we're here for. No worries at all. We'll do our best to make your dreams come true. Just tell your hopes and dreams to Silverwolf and they'll get started right away. Come on, let's all have a seat in our new meeting area. Now we can meet like professionals. I wonder if the animal that comes to the island first of all is a bit random, like uh, the campsite visitor. At least it's an animal I like, because when I had the, the first campsite visitor, who you have to invite, it was this pig and his name was Chops and he was really annoying. Anyway... Eloise, ah, the breeze is delightful here. What a wonderful spot to conduct business. Toot. So let's get to it. Shall I just go ahead and describe my vision? Lottie says, yes, tell us all about it. Paint us a picture. Do you have any thoughts on how you'd like to spend time at your vacation home? Eloise says, I can think of nothing else, and I'm very particular. I have some furniture I'd like to use no matter what. You see, my ideal place is like... My relaxing reading room. Eloise. So she wants a bookcase, she wants a stack of books, and she wants a chair. Remember that, that now, because I don't know whether it will go back on it. My relaxing reading room. Yes, that's a wonderful theme. Her client has a dream. Please fulfill that, fulfill that dream, Silverwolf. As for the location... Well, I've had my eye on a particular small island near here. It's the one that looks like... 
Oh yes, that island, says Lottie. Well then, you'll need to head to the site to complete the next step, step of the process. Good luck with the client at the job site. Nico will take you by boat. Once you're on location, you can get to work right away. I can't wait to see how it all works out. Okay. And there's a little animation of Nico in his boat there. Right, that was quick. We're on the island already. Right, and here we are. Watch your step, says Nico. Eloise, so what's going... That's going to be my vacation home. I'm so excited. Can we go see what the inside is like? Nico says, you bet. Come on, let's go. So in we go. Right. She's got a bunch of packages in front of her. Here's the furnishings you requested earlier. Oh, I didn't have to remember them after all. Well, talk about service. I only just made that request and my order is already here, Toot. Now we've got some prep to do first, says Nico, so I'll need you to hang on for just a minute or two. I'm guessing I have to place these these items um, around the house client orders take it out of the box with a and then it's your job to arrange it and you know make it look nice but before we get to work let's just real quick go over how work works first up get into decorating mode yep it makes designing rooms as easy as key lime pie yes yeah, so it's a normal thing you can check the furniture available by pressing the right arrow so pick some stuff that matches the client's concept design until the designing's done they report the co report to the client and the job is finished does that cover it? Yeah, I think that covers it. Okay, Eloise. We're all set, so it's time to get to work. Eloise says, wonderful, thank you so much. I'm so excited to see the finished product, Silver. And Nico says, I'll be around, so let me know if you run into any trouble now. Share us what you got. Right, my relaxing reading room, so... You've got the chair, you've got the bookcase, and you've got... It'll be the stack of books. Right, so. Let's put the bookcase in the corner. Um, hmm. They need to be next to the chair because I think that's a good place to put them. Actually, you know what, I think I might rotate the chair. Let's move them out of the way. Let's put the chair in the window, because it's nice. So, whoops, I rotated it by accident. There you go, and put the stack of books next to the chair again, like that. So she's got a nice sort of... She can sit in the sun and enjoy herself. Right, while working on your designs, you'll be using furniture procured by Paradise Planning. You can see what furniture items the client requested under order. Make sure to use these in your design. You'll find other items under order that are likely to fit the client's re requested concept. When in doubt, look for these for inspiration. Right, so... Ranch chair, rocking chair... So these are the things that she ordered at the top. I think a double sofa. You want something that's relaxing, right? Oops, I just put two out. She's got two sofas. Oh dear. Let's just remove that. Okay, so. What's around the other side? Is there another window over there? If I move this one around here, I can go in the corner like that. And then what else can we have? Maybe like a coffee table, wooden low table. 
Oh, it's in the perfect place. Well, sort of. I don't think she can sit down at the sofa with the table that close. Do I really want to put it in the way of the door? Let's move the sofa over a little bit. Maybe so it's under the window. No. Oh, goodness. I'll put it under the window. There we go. I need something in the corner of the room, like, perhaps, um, hmm, like, what? Oh, wait, is that more books? Wooden end table. Hmm, ranch low board. I could put that at the back, couldn't I? Yeah, that works. Uh, ah, that's what I needed. Wooden bookshelf, large magazine rack. Do you know what? She likes the bookshelf. Let's give her another one. <laughs> oh, she's clapping her hands. Look at that. There we go. And then... A retro stereo or maybe we could put a plant perhaps in the corner but just over here because I think that plants bring some color to the uh, to the room let's have another plant if you can hear something in the background by the way that's uh, Rooker he's having a drink will that go up on top of here oh that's a shame so much space to put a plant on top of there and you can't. Hmm. So, let's have a look. Here we go. We want a light to put on the ceiling. Oh, they've got coffee and everything, all, all sorts of things. Oh, look, you can even have a picture of her there. Is that a ceiling light? Shaped pendant lamp. There we go. That's nice. Okay. Let's go back down to the floor again. I think we'll have... I did see that coffee cup and it would be nice to have that on the table. we go um, and maybe we'll have on the wall here Eloise's photo Eloise's poster we'll have that on the wall if she likes looking at herself I think that looks quite nice I don't know whether anything else is required or whether that's relaxing enough seems to be quite good um, what other things are there that I could put in the room fragrance diffuser aroma pot fragrance sticks or maybe fragrance sticks make the place smell nice what about a humidifier no. wall planter I put a wall planter actually Uh, just there. Maybe we'll have two of those. You know what? I think that that's, that looks quite good. I'm not very good at these things, so... I'm sure other people could have done better. Okay, so we're ready to finish. Oh, God, what's she going to say? How's my vacation home coming along? Is it ready? It's ready. I did my best. You did it. Thank you. So it looked very much like she was clapping her hands when she saw me put out things she liked, which is quite useful. Well, I think that's very nice. It's got a sofa and plenty of books and a chair and 
plants. Looks relaxing to me. She's enjoying a little sit down on the chair there. And I've left enough space for her to walk around because she's an elephant, so she needs space. Oh, it's exactly how I imagined it. No, it's even better. Oh, I'm so glad I asked you to do this. Thank you so very much, Silver. It's marvellous. Hooray! <laughs> Nico says, well, look at you. Your first job is a huge success. I can't wait to tell Lottie about the great work you did. I'm just going to do this one for this video because we've gone on for 25 minutes already. I don't want to make these videos too long because people might get bored. Welcome back. So how did it go with our first client? Tell me everything, Silverwolf. It went perfectly. Really? That's wonderful. Nico said the client was thrilled. I'm super impressed with how professionally Silverwolf handled it all. And Lottie says, that's so great. The more happy clients we have, the more our business will grow. I think the sky's the limit, and I'm so glad you've joined the team. And thanks for all your help, Nico. Our newcomer is in great hands with you. Nico says, just doing my job, but thank you so much for noticing. All right, I should head back to the pier now. I am already excited to get started with our next client. Hope you're ready for more, Silverwolf. Of course. I have got all my amiibo cards, in fact, so I can invite my own animals as well. I was quite excited about this part of the game. Right, Lottie says, oh, there's one, more, one last thing. This is for you, Silverwolf. She's given me something. It's money, I think. You didn't think you'd be working for free, did you? Oh, it's pokey. Yeah, they don't give you bells, do they? They give you pokey. So it's like a different uh, currency. We use pokey instead of bells as our everyday currency. You won't be able to spend pokey back home on Shernaran, nor can you spend bells here. We may not have a lot for sale here right now, but I'm sure you'll find a few things you like. So I've got 6,000 pokey. Anyway, thanks again for your work so far. Come to see me when you're ready for another job. So, that's uh, pretty much the beginning of the Happy Home uh, Paradise planning thing. Um, I keep forgetting the name of it. So, um, I'll do some more to this in the next video. Uh, if you want to see more Animal Crossing videos, you can click either of the boxes that come up below. Um, I've got Animal Crossing and gaming videos in my playlist. Um, if you want, you can check my Etsy and New Monday stores. If you want to buy custom plushies or artwork or buy me a coffee on Ko-fi, it all helps. The links are all in the description. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be doing a lot more because I'm quite enjoying it myself. So that's all for this time. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep being awesome. This is Silverwolf signing off.